Galaxy S22 series hasn't been available for a little over a month, and I'm seeing more and more people get their hands on the new Samsung smartphone. As more people decide to buy this device, we're going to see a growing number of people getting their phone secondhand from a third party seller like eBay or Swappa. And while we expect these phones to be in 100% working order when we receive them, sadly that just isn't always going to be the case. So one of the things to watch out for when buying a pre-owned Samsung smartphone is knowing whether Knox has been tripped or not. See, when we unlock the bootloader and install non-Samsung code on the phone, such as Majisk, we end up tripping an eFuse that the company has branded as Knox Security. And when Knox is tripped on Samsung devices, we end up losing access to certain features like Secure Folder, Smart Samsung Pay, Samsung Health, Samsung Pass, and possibly a few more. Now, some of these are able to be brought back with certain community mods, but not everyone is willing to go through all of that. For people like myself, we are more than willing to lose access to these apps and features if it means we get 100% control over our devices. But again, that just isn't the case for everyone and that means having a, de a device with Knox fully intact is very important for many people buying these smartphones. So one of the first things that you're going to want to check when buying a used Samsung Galaxy S22, Galaxy S22 Plus, or Galaxy S22 Ultra is to check and see if Knox has been tripped or not. And we can do this by first booting into download mode and then checking a line of text that is displayed on the screen. If you are not familiar with how to access this special boot mode, then be sure to check the video description below as I'll include a link to the tutorial I did showing exactly how that is done. So once we have booted into download mode, we're going to bypass this splash screen and then go to the actual download mode screen where you're going to see a lot of text in the upper portion of the display. Now in some countries, tripping Knox is going to void the warranty of your device. So Samsung has actually used the code warranty void in the download mode to denote whether or not Samsung Knox has been tripped. So what you're going to do is you're going to look for this warranty void note right here and you're going to see a couple of numbers and a letter afterwards. So 0x0 means that the warranty has not been void and that Samsung Knox has not been tripped. However, if you see this with something else, this usually changes to 0x1. If you see something like that, that is not 0x0, and instead you see it displaying 0x1, then that means Samsung Knox has been tripped, and that means you are not going to be able to use all of those features that I mentioned above. So again, if Knox has been tripped on your phone, that is the reason why Secure Folder does not work. That's the reason why Samsung Pay is not working. That is the same reason why Samsung Help or S Help is broken. And that is why you cannot get the Samsung Pass which is their password filling manager. That's why that no longer works as well. Samsung health and secure folder are fixable with a few mods, 
but again, that requires root access. And that wraps up this video showing you how to check to see if Knox has been tripped on your phone. And again, depending on where you live, that also means that the warranty has been void or not.